John here, and welcome to another episode. Uh, this is tutorial 36. I think it's episode 4. I think. I think. Uh, it's been a while. Got a new computer. It's took me ages to set it up. Anyway. Right, this is a continuation from the uh, high res smooth scroller that I did for the Commodore 64. And what I thought I would do is I would show it the Vic way. Because the um, the, arch the architecture is slightly different and um, but the concept and the code should be identical. All we're doing is going to be changing a few pointers and trying it out. So let's look at the memory map of the Vic 20. Right. I know you're all going to shout at me and say, John, you've got 64k of RAM on that. No, 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 no. I'm just showing the 64k RAM banks. It's not saying that it's got, uh, sorry, not 64, 16k RAM back. I'm not saying it's got 64k RAM. I'm just saying it's the 6502. It's the same architecture. It has access to 64k of, uh, of addressable space. Hey, there, that's a good word, right? So that's all I'm trying to get across here. So what I'm trying to say is that remember with the Commodore 64 we had to do some bank switching to get to the character ROM. Well for the Vic you don't. It's always available from 8000 onwards. Then after that we have the input output which we're going to have to change because that's where the Vic chip is. And it has its colour RAM directly behind it. So there's a little bit of RAM here, I think it's about a K of RAM that supports the colour. And there's a K of RAM, well probably not even a K of RAM. Let's have a look, uh, let's work it out quickly. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's 256, isn't it? 256.5. It's 512.5. That's it. It's 5.12. So there's half a K of RAM here dedicated to the colour and half a K of RAM somewhere down here dedicated to the screen. As you can see the basic is in a different place because the basic kernel is from C1000 uh, but the input output kernel is in exactly the same place as Commodore 64. So for an unexpected, unexpanded VIC this is the sort of uh, the memory map you're looking at. So uh, as you can see I'm taking it out. It has 8K of RAM, sort of, at the beginning of its memory. Um, I mean, don't want you shouting at me saying, there's not 8K of RAM there, there's a gap. Yeah, hence, sort of, because there is a gap where there's no, there's no memory there. But, yeah, don't shout at me. I've put sort of, I've covered myself. The uh, kernels and the other... Um, chipsets are still in the same place. So if we expand this this uh, zero to two thousand out, so that's basically eight k. This is what it looks like. So we've got roughly one k of RAM at the start. That covers the zero page and all the basic parameters that are required for it to run. Then there's a gap between oh four hundred to one thousand, and there's no RAM there in an unexpected unexpanded. On an unexpanded VIC, there is nothing there, and then we have got literally, uh, I think it's 4K of RAM here between 1000 and 2000. So the screen takes uh, 512 bytes of RAM at the end, and um, the rest is dedicated to basic, which is roughly 3.5K. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the character set here at 1A00. So this is where the character set, our character set, is going to go to perform the high scroll and high, the high res scrolling. And then this is where the program is going to go here. So hopefully that's going to, that's giving you a little bit of insight to the Vic, unexpanded Vic20 memory map. Now I'm not going to go through any of the other ones because I've not developed this for any of the other ones. So it's just out of the box, vanilla, so to speak, VIC-20. So, so I've done all the code. 
Let's come back to that. Done all the code. And it's here. So I've created a new file called um, the text scroll of VIC20. And I've set the target, as you can see, to a VIC20. So what I've done is I've added some assembler um, directives in there to know when it's when it's a VIC20 or it's a 64. So it's exactly the same file as we've done before. All I've done is I've put some assembly directives in there to allow it to be compiled in different places and stuff. So right off the bat, this is the directive for the Commodore 64. So basically this is where it's gonna do the sys 2064. But the VIC is in a different place because we start at 1000. So I test for the VIC here and then do sys 4112. But after that, it's almost identical. So the first thing we do is we jump to uh, start text scroller, and then I have got some more directives. This is for the Commodore 64, so it's saying that the R character area is going to be at 3200 3, hex, which is where we define it. The character ROM is at D1000, and the screen starts at 0400, and it's 40 characters. Well, for the VIC, there's a difference kettle of fish. We're going to put our character set at 1A00. We're going to put the, the, the character ROM is stored in 8000 and the screen starts at 1E00. E e and each line has 22 characters. So I've put the uh, 40 character memory map table which is exactly the same thing it's just that it's in a different location for the 64 and the VIC-20, which is defined here. This is the low byte. This doesn't change at all, but the high byte does, dependent on the character, the CHR area. We've got the same text that we're going to run through, self-promoting, shameless self-promoting. And then everything else, I think, is the same apart from where we define the VIC 20, uh, sorry, where we define the VIC chip in both the 64 and the VIC 20. So in the 64, we're setting up a VIC 2 chip to look at, to say that the character ROM is there. And for the VIC chip, it's slightly different. We have to set, oh, it's directly set in. We don't have to um, do any um, bank swapping or anything like that. And then during the the code for the VIC we are taking out the bank swapping code which is this stuff here so the, the 60 foot uh, the VIC 20 doesn't have include that in there we've got some where we're testing for the um, raster in here as well so this is the VIC version of the raster and I think that's it so the main code, the scrolling code, is exactly the same. The only difference that, that we've got at the moment is we've got a different area where we're pointing the uh, high-res character set. We are dis we're not doing any bank switching in the VIC, and we've configured the VIC chip because the VIC chip is different than the VIC2 chip, and that's it. Right. Shall we run it? So, F5. Can you see? Got a new computer, a lot quicker, loving it. <laughs> and there we go. Now, it's a bit jerky-burky because the 64 emulator was a bit, little bit jerky-burky, so it, hopefully it's a bit smoother because I've got a big fat computer now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the, the 64. I'm going to get the VIC out. I'm going to put this on an actual VIC. And we'll record it and see if it is as jerky as the emulator seems to suggest. But that is smooth scrolling. Exactly the same code as the 64. A couple of tweaks. But it's doing the same strategy as I explained before. So, we'll let it shamelessly self-promote me and I'll get the VIC out and we will look at it 
from a VIC-20 actual point of view. So I'll see you in a second or two. Take care. Hello. Right. I've got the trusted VIC out. It's not my pet style one. It's uh, it's the, the one of the VIC-20s I've picked up that I use as a, a play machine. You know, it's got the soft touch keyboards. Right. So I've put my Vic SD twice C in. Let's see if it works. Okay. So that, that means I must have made it nine, like I've done with the C64 one. There we go. Right. So we're looking for. Right. I found. I've got. In fact, I've got three SD twice Cs. I've left the one on the 64. I found an, a newer one, a really new one, very flash. And I'm going to use that for the Vic. I'm going to figure out why that one didn't read the card, but I'll do that some other time. So if we do this, we should load. There we go. Right, so it's there. Text CR to load. Text star comma eight. So if we list it, there we go. We run it. Now hopefully this is not jerky and we're all lovely and happy and singing and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> oh, well the emulator didn't do that, did it? But it's smooth as you like. Now the, the only the, the, the problem with that, the problem with what you can see there is that the space character's not been blanked out, and I bet on the emulator it's been set to zero. But that smooth scrolling is perfect. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Oops. Oh, it's not going to do it because it doesn't reset the counters, does it? Anyway. Not sure what else I've got on him. JCD test. My discs. Software. There's FB64 on there, but I don't think there's the Vic one. The Vic one on here. I'm gonna have to put that on here. The Vic one. Yeah, it's not there. It's gonna have to put the FB the Vic versions on here. That's all right. I can do that. So there you go. A text scroller for the Vic 20. And. We used the same code as we did with the 64, just a little tweaks for the setup. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click that like button. If you disliked it, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment, because I try and answer each and every one of them. And if you'd like to support my channel, uh, consider becoming a patron of mine, because all the money goes back into the channel. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.